28 laps to go. We're just going to lap 210. It is a Biffle who's awfully hungry trying to get win number one in 2007. Biffle hard. Three wide action back in the pack. Jimmy Johnson a part of that three wide mix. Oh, contact down the back straightaway. The 11 car is involved. McMurray is involved. 15 rectus. Yes, he did. Just hold a break. Danny Hamlin slides all the way the length of the back straightaway. Gets it, uh, tries to get it refired on the bottom of the racetrack. Caution for the 11th time today. We remember yesterday the 15 and the 20, or the 11 in this case, is Denny Hamlin. They were going at it yesterday I in the Bush race. Anything. We did spin around several times. Denny did have a really good restart. In fact, when he went into turn one, and by the time he got to the middle of one or two, he was three wide on top of the racetrack trying to clear the 15 car as he exited turn two, and it, evidently that's when they got together right there. You see Denny pumping the throttle inside the car a moment ago, trying to get it to refire. Let's show you what happened. Top of your screen, what's the 11 car? The 15 there beside him is Paul Menard. Some real tight racing. Whoa, it looks like Jamie McMurray actually got into the side of Paul Menard. And that's another part of the racetrack that's pretty unstable. Guys are three wide side by side. Jamie's trapped on the bottom and slides up and gets into Paul Menard, and Paul Menard gets into 11 car, and there you go. But there wasn't any room left because of the three wide action off of two. These guys are going for it, though. You understand, with 26 laps to go, they got to run every lap, like we said earlier, like a qualifying lap. Got to get it on, and they were doing it. Hamlin's car has not refired. He's still sitting over there on the apron where this car came to rest. Now, here's the contact, 26 into 15 into 11. Yeah, I'm sure Denny Hamlin thinks that he, you know, he got contact from Paul Menard. He didn't see what happened below Paul. Paul Menard and Denny Hamlin raced each other real hard in the bush race yesterday. Seems like they can't get away from each other. Show you what happened in the NASCAR Bush Series race. These guys went after each other all afternoon. Great racing. Watch the 20 now as Hamlin and 15 Menard. You see these guys really going at it yesterday. This was a great race to watch. They were pushing and shoving. That was in yesterday's Bush race. And here again, there's the 11 of Hamlin, the 15 of Paul Menard. He was in the middle of that. Of course, the 26 McMurray, that was the initial contact into the 15. Well, Denny probably doesn't know that Paul didn't do that to him, you know, sir. We'll get some more information and watch our replays and see what happens here. Let's listen in to Denny Hamlin's on board as you watch the ride and he took. Three wide, still three wide, still three wide. Yes, he did. Just hold the brake. Okay, just come around. Everybody else has stopped. I know that's what it looked like, but that's not the case. It really was just tight racing off that corner. He's being black flagged uh, by NASCAR because he's dragging something up <clears throat> under the car. They were able to get the car refired. You see the uh, roof flap there is cocked up when the car got backwards and sideways. And they can reset that. That's the way it, when that thing pops up, it's designed to stay up like you see it. Got a little flap that holds that little yellow flap holds it up. Roof, roof flap down it. also, Mike. Bad few weeks for Denny Hamlin you know, after the uh, frustration at Dover last week where he finished 38. This lap 203, the contact where he gets into the back of the 45 car of Kyle Petty. Well, I'll tell you, that was a tough one right there, too, because you saw Kyle on the bottom of the track trying to get out of the way, and Denny accidentally gets in the back of him. Tensions are high right now, a lot of screaming and slugging going on. And if you're Denny Hamlin right now, you just want these problems to stop. Man, he's not happy right here. And moments ago here, we'll watch the roof flap now deploy as he gets backwards. That's exactly what they're supposed to do. Working just like they're supposed to. Keeps the car on the ground. Uh, <laughs> tries to get up over on two wheels, but the car does stay on the ground. Let's get out of Mike Massaro. And lots of work going on on the left side of the car right now, working on the left side front valence and also the rocker panels, trying to pull out the front fender as well. But 
heavy damage on the left side of Denny Hamlin's machine. They're going to make as much repair as they can on this stop and send him away, but I expect they'll be down pit road in a lap or so.